Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this month, loads of people have been asking me about my clothes and um, the little makeup that I do wear. Some people have been asking sort of what I do and how I do it. Um, so I figured I'd do sort of a May favorites roundup of everything I'm liking at the moment. Um, I don't have very many new things, but I did actually go on a little shopping spree the other day. So I'll include some of that stuff as well, as well as some things that I've kind of been gifted um, and kind of show you which bits I've been loving um this month yeah so um as you guys know probably i have like a super basic makeup routine but i'm just gonna start with like the little things that i do wear and that i do um like to have for nights out basically when i go out in the morning i take all my makeup um and you know everything i'm gonna need for the day so it's kind of all in my bag all the time and then i just um if i'm going out in the evening go to an event or whatever then um i can just put it on when i'm at work so let's start with my brow kit so i um fill in my brows uh maybe like 50 percent of the time um so as you can see mm -mm, looking um quite full um so I don't get them plucked or threaded or anything like that I used to get them threaded I also used to get them waxed but um found I just like I just can't be bothered so I'm just going for like the full-on Cara Delevingne like full brow look and um this kit kind of uh helps me get that so it is soap and glory I didn't really know what to do with this at <laughs> first so kind of I still really don't really understand it but it's got like two different colors I just use the lighter one and then um, it's got like a setting um, gel that I guess is for like sweeping them up and then it's got this brush here so that's got like the setting bit on it um, so it's got like the bit that you like swipe up and then the little brush to help fill in as well so I do that because my brows are quite light um, and I like to have them like full-on caterpillar style love it um and then in here really helpfully there's this like highlighting bit i just put it like under the brow just here um and it apparently it lifts your brows i like it it just makes me feel a little bit shiny it makes me look more awake i think i'm not really sure <laughs> So I've also gotten a little bit of lipstick today. I don't wear it very often, but when I do, I kind of like kind of nudey, pastel-y pink colours. Um, I don't really suit a very red lipstick. But this one is one of my favourites, and it was kindly sent to me by Bare Minerals. So this is it. It was... It's called... Um, the colour is Tutu, and it just makes my teeth look really white, which is definitely an added bonus it's also really moisturizing and I get really dry lips when the weather is changeable which it is thank you England um all the time here so um I wear this if I've not got any you know other if I'm not just wearing lip um balm then I'll put on a little bit of this which is um super pretty if I want to go all out I'll put on some lip liner as well it's um in exactly the same color it's uh, from studio 10 Age Reverse Perfecting Lip Liner. Well, there you go. So now I'm like 15 or something. <laughs> but I put this on, um, and then there's a light end as well. I think it's supposed to go on your Cupid's bow, but I don't really know anything about makeup, so I don't bother doing that. I sometimes use it on the inside of my eyes, though, and it makes them look a little bit wider. So this kind of doubles up for both lips and eyes, especially if you're kind of going for um, not very strong makeup look. Just have this in your bag, and it's quite handy. Last thing on the makeup front, I have this Eyes Uncovered collection. Wait, yeah, it's from collection. So um, this cost all of about five quid from Boots and I've been, this is my second set. It's super cheap um, and I absolutely love it. It's got all these different colors um, that I just use if I want a little bit of a natural look or a little bit more of a smoky look. It kind of works for everything. I've had this for so long or like two of them for so long and it kind of works as well. It's like those, um, urban what's it called urban decay you get those big palettes like that but i to be honest i only use like two maximum three colors from it so um it actually works really well just to have a kind of smaller set that i can carry around with me um and as you know since i'm not that much into my makeup um this works perfectly on a day-to-day -day basis so on to skincare as you guys might know i um struggle quite a lot with um blocked pores and spots and i don't know if it's hormonal or what but i've been struggling like for the last I guess since for the last like 10 years um, finding a skincare routine that actually works for me and doesn't overly dry my skin but also doesn't let it get too oily so that I get spots everywhere um, and I think I finally found something that actually works um, it is it was quite expensive um, 
But I think definitely worth it, especially I don't wear um, skin makeup on a daily basis. So um, having clear skin is quite important to me. And it's this, and it really matches my um, pastel obsession at the moment. Um, <laughs> so what it does, it kind of like cleanses your skin. You just like hold it um, and it, so like this, it twirls. There we go. And cleanses your skin all over. It's supposed to be like 10 times better than just doing it by hand. Um, and also I'm super lazy with um, skincare routines. So this kind of just does it all. And I don't like to use makeup remover wipes as well because I feel like they're just so bad because you use them once and then you dispose of them and that is that. And you kind of go through loads and loads of packets of them. So this has been a godsend in terms of replacing those because I just use this with a little bit of cleanser um, and that's basically my skincare routine done. So that's really easy for me. So this is a new obsession and it's such a nice colour, which I know is so superficial, but I love it. <laughs> okay, so on to hair. Um, like I said, when I leave the house um, at the beginning of the day, I kind of like take everything that I need for the day. So something that is permanently in my bag is this. All of you will know what this is. It is dry shampoo from um, Bastis. I don't think this is the best brand of dry shampoo, but having said that, um, it is so handy because they do it in these little small bottles. I have a huge one that's like this big um, downstairs, but this is the one that I carry around with me on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I can't wash my hair every day, even though I probably need to, considering the amount that I gym, but um, this kind of makes me last like two to three days um, without washing and that means that my hair is like a little bit better moisturized and so I'd really recommend like if you get quite dry hair and quite split ends like try and cut down the amount you wash your hair um, and use dry shampoo instead it's an absolute godsend <laughs> so um on to how I actually wash my hair um and you might know that I'm quite obsessed with Maui Moisture it is it looks like this it's um it's all vegan smells absolutely incredible yeah, like totally obsessed with it. This is the um, coconut milk one. This is for nourishing and moisturizing. Um, and it basically works so well because quite a lot of shampoos have like sulfates and stuff. And basically sulfates make my hair like go out here, really dry, really, really dries it out. And I hate that. So I try and get a shampoo that's really moisturizing. Um, and then I use the same conditioner and they also come in mini bottles. So if I'm going to the gym and wash my hair at the gym, I'll just take those um, instead of using like uh, some cheap uh, shampoo conditioner duo from the gym. <laughs> um, but when I'm not using that, so I have balayage in my hair. So it's kind of looking a little bit fluffy at the moment, but um, you see it kind of goes from dark to light at the end. And obviously, um, um, when when you've got that for a while sometimes your hair can go a little bit yellowy um, straw kind of color which is not really a good look or at least it doesn't suit me so I use this Maria Nilla um, you've probably seen silver shampoos before but this is a new one that I found and um, it's the only one that I found that's sulfate free um, it's all wait what does it say sulfate and paraben free um, hundred percent vegan and cruelty free as well, which is obviously a massive bonus. Um, and it kind of just takes out the yellow tones from your hair, which is really handy for me. It means that also I can go longer between getting my hair done, which means my hair's in a better condition. So I use this, um, maybe once every other week and then just leave it in for a, a couple of minutes, um, while I'm doing the rest of my body. Oh, and also this thing you can use in the shower. So I use this when I'm washing my hair. So I leave this in for four minutes or whatever, and then use this at the same time. So it's a win-win, you save time and you look great. Who wouldn't love that? <laughs> okay, so on to clothes. Like I said, I did a little bit of a shopping spree the other day, which I do not do very often. Shopping scares the shit out of me. So um, I avoid it where possible. I do not enjoy crowds of people. And also it just gets hot and sweaty, you know, but I did go shopping and I bought a couple of things. Um, this is obviously my first summer working, um, I think ever. Um, sort of working full time and um, so I bought a couple of outfits that will be appropriate for work for me obviously it might not be appropriate for work for you I have a quite a chilled like dress code at my work but first of all this top is one of my favorites I actually don't know if I was wearing it in my last YouTube vid if I was I'm sorry I'm not that original and I'm not good at swapping up clothes between YouTube videos clearly but this is from Topshop. It's, um, I'm obsessed with wearing them with stra strapless bras. You get your shoulders out and you get a good tan line and it also makes you look really tanned. So this is Topshop, cost me like eight quid or something. Um, I think Primark are doing quite similar ones, but this is quite a nice material, which I love. Okay, so I did a little bit of a haul at um, Primark the other day. I was just gonna do it as a full YouTube video by itself, but um, 
I bought loads of things, like everything I liked in there, and it came up to like 59 quid, and I was like, everyone seems to be doing these 200 pounds haul, like I spent 400 pounds at Primark, like how the hell do you do that? Honestly, I have no idea, because I bought so many things and it still only came up to like 60 quid, so um, I'm just gonna show you the couple of things that I bought, as well as the rest of my favorite stuff. I've got this skirt on, which is from my Primark haul. It's got these cute little, cut out bits at the bottom, which are really nice. And it works, it would be perfect for work for me. Uh, I bought it in two colors. I bought it in like a pale blue and this gorgeous like dusty pale pink. Um, I feel very Instagram in it. It's quite like millennial pink, uh, but it is great for spring. Got a little bit of a pastel obsession going on at the moment. So let me just show you my next purchase. These culottes, basically the same color. Um, I absolutely love them. They're kind of really quite thin material, so they're not that good quality, but they actually work if you're wearing like white pants underneath. They work really well. Um, and they look quite smart as well. They look quite chic compared to um, quite a lot of other, a lot of Primark's other stuff. It looks like it's good quality material, even if it does kind of stick to you a little bit. Here we go. Added bonus, they feel just like wearing pyjamas, so if anyone says you can't go to work in pyjamas, just show them these, they're basically pyjamas, but they look cheek, so grab them. They are, I think they were £13, um, and the skirt was, I think, 10 maybe even 5 reduced from 10 so that's definitely a winner. Last of the Primark goodies that I absolutely loved was this dress here. You may have seen it on the gram, it's basically midi length, but it's got this cute little slit here. Um, it is not amazing material, I tried it on, I tried on two different ones and they fit totally differently. So um, obviously like maybe try it on before getting it. This is a size eight. I usually fit their size sixes, but it's quite tight around here. Um, but it is so universally flattering and um, it's totally sold out in size eight and 10 in like most of the stores. But I would definitely recommend trying to find it if you can. Let me show you. I absolutely love it and I got a couple of people asking me like oh where's your dress from it looks amazing like is it Zara and I'm like uh no it's from Primark it cost me 13 pounds and they were like oh god <laughs> so I got some quite horrible looks after saying that it was from Primark because clearly people wanted to find out that it was super expensive but to be honest I don't spend that much money on clothes and I don't like to and this dress is perfect for the summer it also makes tan look nice so I do actually look super white at the moment but I promise you I'm tan and I promise you it makes it look nice. So that's the last of my Primark stuff. Onwards to my last work dress that I bought. It is this cute little mini dress from Pull and Bear. I have bought this in two different styles. One's striped, one's checked. This one's checked. Um, and I bought it in two different sizes as well. So this one is the smaller size. This is, I think, an extra small. And then you can also get it a size up and it kind of fits a lot looser. It's a little bit longer, less like bodycon like and more like a kind of shift dress so um let me just show you i absolutely love it i've worn this far too much um but like i said i don't go shopping that much so it works really well i don't wear it with a bra <clears throat> it kind of holds everything in place i have quite decent sized boobies so it kind of holds that all in which i love and also it's quite flattering um i usually don't wear body cons because they ride up when i walk and if i'm wearing a bag then it like pulls it up at the side and you end up kind of exposing your entire butt cheek to the entire world whereas this one does not do that which i'm very pleased about so i've worn this one um kind of throughout spring basically from the cold weather with like a polo neck underneath to the hot weather with basically nothing underneath and it works really well for both of them so we definitely recommend getting this i think this was i bought this maybe like a month or two maybe two months ago um in those two different patterns so it might still be available there and it cost i think 17 pounds for each um which yeah great great value <laughs> So my favourite sports outfit of this month has to be this set here. If you think it's from Lululemon, you are wrong, 
but I'm not surprised it's got literally exactly the same fit as Lululemon. It's slightly thicker material, um, like quite a lot thicker than the aligned pants, but I quite like that because it doesn't show up everything. Um, and basically it fits just as high-waisted. The top itself is beautiful, but I don't think I can wear it just for working out because like I said, my boobies are quite big and um, if I did anything in this, they would probably fall out and whack me in the face. So I don't work out in this unless I'm just like lifting heavy weights, no cardio at all. Um, but it is um, such a beautiful set and they kindly sent me this and I've got it in like a pale pink colour as well, kind of a dusty pink, which I also love. But this set just has to be my favourite. So if you are looking for something that looks and feels a bit like Lulu, but is much cheaper, I think these are like, the leggings are like 30 quid, um, which is such good value considering the Lulus are kind of like 80 to 100 or something. Um, check this brand out. It's called FlexFit, F-L-E-X-X, -X, Fit. So we're gonna move on to like the miscellaneous stuff now and then we're pretty much done, I think. So, you know, I said at the beginning that when I leave the house, I kind of take all of my stuff for the day. Well, if I'm going to my gym, they don't give out towels for free. So what I do is I bring, this is like so random, but I bring this. Um, it's one of those mini like camping towels. It is really thin, but so absorbent. So um, I carry this in my bag. It takes up barely any space and weighs like nothing, but means that I can shower at the gym and not have to pay one pound for a towel, which is like a win-win. Next up, my Swell bottle. I, it's kind of a May favorite, but it's kind of an all-time favorite. Um, keeps hot drinks hot for 12 hours and cold drinks cold for 24 hours. So this is so good if I get my morning coffee or my morning protein shake or anything like that and just take it to work um, and around with me and it doesn't it means I don't have to like drink it there and then and then end up with like cold dregs of coffee at the end keeps it really hot um, for a really long term so would definitely recommend getting one of these it's also way better than getting a disposable um, cup from you know Pratt or wherever and also Pratt refills this or they, they give you, I think, 50, 50p off your coffee if you um, bring one of these or any kind of reusable cup, which is a really good incentive, I think. And I feel like more places should do that. Um, so, yeah, definitely ask them to fill this up rather than, you know, getting one of those. They're quite expensive. I think they're like 20 to 30 quid. Um, but considering, yeah, that 50p off every time and also um, it's reusable and also just like beautiful. Like it is so pretty, then I think it's quite good value. And I, I actually have another one of these as well. Um, so I kind of rotate between the two. Last couple of things. Sunglasses, totally obsessed with cat eye at the moment. I have two different cat eye ones. I've got these, which are from Key. I feel like I look ridiculous in them and I probably do. But at the same time, you know, when you're feeling like quite tired, maybe not that energetic, I feel like if you put on sassy sunglasses, no one can tell and you look great. So it's kind of a win-win. Second pair. These, <laughs> these are from Primark as well. They're from my little haul that I did there. They cost three pounds and they match everything pastel that I brought from there, which is perfect for me. And um, yeah, I just love them. They're kind of rose tinted. So when people say that like, you see everything kind of so rose tinted, this is probably not what they meant, but this also works and it does make me feel a little bit happier and it makes everything seem a little bit sunnier, which England kind of needs at the moment. So yeah. Love them. <laughs> okay, last thing. Um, I have two new bikinis that I'm hoping to take on holiday with me once I book a holiday. Um, but I wanna try them on now because I want you to see them in this month's favorites because uh, when it was really sunny, like a week ago, two weeks ago, I was just sunbathing in these all the time. So I feel like they need a little bit of a shout out. Bikini number one is this one. This is from My Mantra Active and I love it. So it's got, it's got corals on it. Um, and basically they give 20% of their profits to this charity that uh, protects bleached corals and coral reefs just around the world, especially Australia. So basically when the ocean gets too hot, all these little microorganisms that live in corals and get all the energy for the corals to survive, they all just leave because they can't cope with the heat, which means that the corals themselves can die 
and it's basically tragic it's you know you kind of when you think of corals you think of really bright um loads of different colors etc etc basically they all go white which is why it's called coral bleaching and it's just due to the temperature of the seas which do a global warming anyway they need protecting from us because we're the ones who are ruining them and um, i love that this brand gives so this is like a special edition bikini um that gives some of the money to there so um i would definitely recommend like if you're looking to do a little bit of good with your bikini shopping this is the brand to go with i like the fit it's kind of a little bit booty -y. um probably wouldn't work with really big boobs it kind of works just about with me just about holds them in but um it's just a really nice pattern and it's also reversible so it's like pale blue on the inside i absolutely love this one and then i will just show you my other one this bikini was a birthday present it's from the brand myco and i have to say it's one of the nicest bikinis i've ever owned it's got this gorgeous pattern at the back and um it's such a nice color as well it's definitely me obviously i love blue like literally almost everything that i own is blue or pink <laughs> so check it out Um, this is what I've been sunbathing in for the last two weeks and I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, I would recommend if you're looking for kind of luxury bikini, this is the one. I hope you found that helpful. Um, I know I love to see what other people are loving at the moment, so um, that's why I thought I'd do this video for you all. If you want to um, check out the products, they are in the description below if I can find them. Some of them are old season, um, so you won't be able to find them anywhere, but maybe you can find something similar if you do love them and um thanks for watching <laughs> i will see you next time if you did enjoy this video please do like and subscribe it means the world to me and um if you want any other videos just message me and i will see if i can um do them thank you very much lots of love Mwah. bye